Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have an art journal feature today where I'm doing a little bit of a color study. I'll be working in my Dina Wakely 6x6 white journal and it is a beautiful size journal especially for our stencils and stamps. I am on the center page for this journal and I thought it'd be a great opportunity to use a stencil right in that center line where it can sit flat. So I have my stencil picked out. It's a floral and it's a six by nine so I can make a nice spray that goes from side to side. And I'm also using a photo of my son's grapes and I love the color combination. I'm going to try to emulate these by blending in my inks. So there's lots of purples and greens and in between colors. I've chosen about five ink pads that I'm going to be working with. I do have those listed in the description box below if you're interested. And I also want to tape down some of the edges of the stencil since the image cuts kind of close and I don't want to go over the line. So I'm using our very low tech tape and I'll just add some tape right to the stencil. I'll be starting with the Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Orchid ink pad. This is a nice pink purple. And to get started, I'll use one of our regular size blending brushes. And I'm going to be blotting this off onto some scrap paper just so that I don't get a really hard edge to begin with. I like to start really soft with the colors first, and then I can go back in later and darken up some of those edges. My second purple is violet, also Sam Simon Says Stamp positively saturated ink. I'm going to be clipping this stencil down since it's trying to move in between that fold line of my book. So this time I'll be using the smaller blending brush and again I'm going to be swirling this off onto some scrap paper and I'm going to go over that orchid ink and I'm going to try to blend these colors in to where I have a really nice combination of purples. The grapes in the picture have some green in them and I'm allowing the pink and the green to overlap as well so I can find that sweet spot that I really love between the two colors. For my first green I'm using the Perfection Simon Says Stamp Positively ink and I'm using a larger brush even though I'm working with some smaller leaves in the image of the stencil and like I said I'm going to allow those pinks and greens to overlap just a little bit so that I can find that sweet spot of color. And then I can switch to a smaller brush to try to get more concentrated colors in the edges of the leaves. Every once in a while I suggest that you lift your stencil up and see if you're getting the color that you want in between those purples and I'm just going to use my photo to see how those are going. So I'm starting to get some of those mid-tones between the purples and the greens. I went back in and I darkened up some of my areas and right now I'm using a Copic marker. This is a T1 and I'm going to add some shadowing just around the edges of each of the flowers and the leaves. By adding the gray you get almost a drop shadow look and it also encapsulates all the color within the image with that gray border. And now that I have my background I want to start adding my title and I'm using the Tim Holtz Theory and I have some of the bigger and smaller letters that I can add together. I'm going to go ahead and attach my photo down and I've added some Simon Says Stamp dot liner to the back and I'm also going to use my six inch T-square just so I can make sure that I get this lined up. So once I have that in place I can press this down. And to glue my letters down in place I'm using Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue and I'm just adding dots of glue to the back of each letter. I've cut these out with a black cardstock so that it is black on both sides. I'll also be using my T-square once I get these going to make sure that I have them lined up while the glue is still wet. When using the smaller letters you're going to want to place them at the top of the larger letters and then there's a dash line that you can glue underneath and this will fill in the spot to make the letters symmetrical. I think the colors turned out beautiful and they really reflect the colors within the photograph. I hope I've given you some inspiration on using your inks and trying to blend them together to match a certain color if you have a photograph inspiration or other piece that you want to highlight. I do have all my supplies listed in the description box below, plus a link to our blog post for more information. 
And as always, thanks so much for watching.